What's up everybody? I'm Dirama Builders and welcome back. So you probably were wondering what this little box is doing next to me. And this is because today we are going to do an unboxing of this high quality statue made by Tsumi. It's from the Senseiya franchise. It's the sign cancer. And this is the death mask statue that we are going to unbox today. So the only tools we are going to use today is this knife so let's get started so first impression the box is uh, well built it's durable and okay there are no severe dents of the transportation that's already a good sign let's open this some foam some corner protectors this is the second box containing the high quality statue and this is looking awesome I'm going to give you guys some close-ups spin it around to give you a better look so here we have a closer look of the box at the front the sign of cancer Senseiya Chevalier de Zodiac and here it's the high quality statue made by Tsumi Art. On the side you have the Tsumi logo. And on the back some information. And here it's indicated it's a limited edition of 1800 pieces. Here you have it on the outer box. It's mentioned that my number is 206. So if you want to look up extra information about this character, about the statue, I will put a link down below which guide you to that website. Enough about the box, it's time to open it and get this figure out. Okay, so let's flip this box on his back and open it. Here you have it, the foam, some envelope, don't know what's in it, but again, stated that my number is 206. So now I'm going to take everything out of the box. So this is the block containing all the pieces, it's divided in two parts and here is clearly stated that this is the top part. So that's good, we are in the right direction. So now we are going to remove all the tape. And here you have the top layer. My guess this will be the base of course. Here you have the cape and this is the figure and everything to my opinion is very well and secure packed to protect them during the transportation that parts won't be moving. So let's start with the base. It's uh, beautifully painted with no errors. I couldn't spot them, so yeah, great job to me. So here in the head you have a little magnet, two spaces for the shoulder pads, I assume, and here on the back comes the cake.
Here at the back you have the head and the two shoulder pads. These are the shoulder pads. And let's see what this is. I think this is the name tag. Yeah. So here you have uh, the name tag with the magnet in the back and it clicks on very easily, just like that. Before putting on the head, we are going to put on the shoulder pads. And here you have the head and with the magnet, the same principle, you just put it on. So most of the parts will be fog, I think. Let's unwrap them all first and continue. So here you have the pen which goes in here and on the back you have another one these two little pieces goes on the top So for the top hand part, you have a choice. You have a choice using this hand like that, pointing up in the air, which is yeah, kind of neat too. Or you can use this effect. So there you have it guys, this statue is looking freaking awesome, it really lived up to my expectations. The paint job is very neat, it's clean, it's, it has no fault whatsoever. The only remark that I have is the fog piece in the back. It's kind of loose, so if you move your statue a lot, I really don't know why, but if you do, please be careful of this fog piece in the back. Maybe it's just uh, limited to my statue, but I'm just warning you. Overall, this is an A plus statue. And of course, you can expect some footage of this statue. And I will see you all in my next video. Diorama Builders signing out. Bye everybody.